Enough for Dill. Here we are, game one. So yeah, one thing I'm looking forward into the, into this set is like their aggression and how how much they take take it from. Because um, Ice, I've been noticing he's rather for the aggressive Palu, and Dill surprisingly can be a little bit aggressive sometimes with his Rob. But it's really interesting how he plays it out. All right, Bread and Brothers. Uh, he could have actually tech that. Didn't have to take all that damage. All right, down throw the back here. Ah, you see, Rob's, Rob can actually jump at, even though he up the. Yeah, he's one of those characters that doesn't go to free fall. Right now, Dill sending at 128%. And uh, he's going to lose that stock immediately within the first minute of the game. Fair is actually going to beat out the, um, the side B. Yeah, so Dill's dropping off the ledge trap because of that forward smash, and now he's in the corner. Wow, good Z drop on the ledge cancel. As Dill was, able, was aware of that, and that side he's not going to take it from the center of the stage. Okay, that was the cleanest spot. Better than last time, Gyro. But then he pushed it out, and now, and now he's in the corner again. Yep, that's gonna do it. And the platform assist. He's losing gas. Yeah, so Rob is really exploitable off stage. I wish that um, Ice would exploit that a little more instead of just trying to get the gyro, but it, 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 actually, in hindsight, it kind of helped him since um, it forced Delta Air Dodge and it put him in a really bad spot, taking the stock also. So, yeah, no, actually, that was all right. But still, I would like to see more pressure. Ice is like really doing a good job of using those back airs on the state, like on the ledge, because the move, the move is invincible. It's a really, you really can't challenge it unless you shield. As Zill has this good spike, good down air, great timing. All right, Dill's bleeding, but he's not dead. Oh, wow, the driver just seemingly slowly hits um, ice. Yeah, Dill's having to take a little bit of a slower approach. Wow, I'm surprised it didn't hit him. Ooh, that's it? Yes. All right, so this was a rather close game. So we're probably going to see that a lot in this set. Ice did r really well when it, when it came to finishing stocks on Dill. I agree with Dill's uh, option to um, play a little more slowly because Rob, even though his moves are really great, it, the, the moves that are going to kill instantly are not that great or like not that quick and rather punishable if he doesn't get it right. So Ice is going to ban Battlefield and Lilat. I believe Dill is going to opt for Town. Okay, he's going to run it back. 
And Luna's standing right next to me as, as she watches help her set up the heater. Aren't you so cute? All right, so yes, we're gonna run it back. No, no counterface changes. Rob, um, Dill's right now confident in his Rob. All right, right now, halfway into the stock, and Dill has not touched ice. Good read on the roll. All right, now it's finally gonna get something started. Yeah, when Rob does his um up throws affair, the next one isn't true. So it's best to just get away from him, DI away, it, so you don't have to take the next percent. And now, right now, Dill's starting to make a comeback right here. Keeping things even. Very quick on the draw, and now Ice is going to lose his stock first. With that brilliant um, snipe on the gyro, and the back air, not going to take it yet. Rob, a heavy boy. Back throw, not going to take it right now. All right, since the gyro poked on ice, um, Dill's able to rack up more damage, and he's still continuing it. Like, it was interesting. Like, ice had such a dominating lead at first. He, he was, he didn't even get touched for like a good minute. And now he's struggling to get the kill out of this rod. Okay, Dill was reading on a roll, and that definitely would have killed him. Now until ja okay, that's gonna take it. Barely, but it did. All right, now Ice is getting his um, percent on Dill. Oh, the spike. But luckily, he chose the jump option, so that way he doesn't get, he remains on stage. Up. No, not yet, not yet. But that's going to take definitely. Yeah, the DI wasn't necessary in that one, as he was just dead. Mini back air from, and Ice is still struggling to get the kill. Yeah, going for the forward throw, trying to set up a nether ledge trap. Up air, not gonna take it right now. Ah, as you see, Ice thought that Dill ended up behind him, but that's not the case as he's about to lose. Not, wow, can we talk about how that frame right there? It literally hit him in front of him. It's like you're burnt, you're, you're like burning, even though the fire didn't touch you. Or like flinching when someone was about to hit you, but they didn't. But yeah, Dill's up by two game. No, wait, no, 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 it's 1 1. It's 1 1. Now we wait for Dill's ban. Knowing him, he takes it slowly. As he blinks constantly. Still not deciding what to ban. Okay, Yoshi's Brawl. I don't think I've seen bra Yoshi's Brawl all day. Huh. You know what that means? Ban that stage. Not really. All right, 
right, so D Dale's gonna ban the Yoshi. Someone doesn't like Yoshi. Where will Ice go from here? I believe he will pick Smashville. I think he, I think he would like that stage. Or actually, it's leaning onto Talos probably. Town and City. All right. Now here's the thing. Town and City is um one of Dill's stronger stages. Especially in Smash 4, um, Diddy was one of the good characters with that. Alright. Oh, we're not gonna switch? Okay. So yeah, the set count right now is 1 1. KK outside right here. It is Saturday. Good um, forward at the jab. All right, right now it's looking like the rever reverse of game two. Ice is dominating Dill right now. Actually, no, it's kind of the same right now. Now, what would be a good, huge momentum boost for um, Ice right now is that um, if he could take this off before Dill did, unlike the first, unlike the last game. Landing right onto the gyro. Yeah, he's definitely trying to pick it up. Now he finally picked up the gyro after a few attempts of getting hit. Be careful. Alright, good timing on the ledge get up as Rob can catch you if you hang on too long. Ooh, a little weird DI. It's not our RB, it's Rob. Alright. There. And just like game one, Ice Hooks has such an advantage, but he just couldn't take the sock and Dill did it first. But it's gonna reverse it right back and make this game even. And the Nair Train and Fair, talking up a good amount of percent. But that laser doing a lot. Back here to the dash attack. I think he wanted something else out of that. Optic for up throw? I'm kind of bothered by why he picked that. Okay, good jump. Being able to land on the platform a lot quicker. A lot quicker than I anticipated. A little lean on the down air on the ledge. That was really close. And the side beat actually clanked with the back air. That hit him. Why? Yo, you're like bears. Rayo's got one for you, but he didn't die, so... Oh, no jump now. Come on, man. He, he, he was literally right there. Oh, whoa. It's a little susty guy right there. And now Ice is going to bring it back, bring it even again. Like, Ice really needs to find a way to actually just close out stocks the way he should if whenever he has the lead. Because Dill's just like, I'll take all this percent all I want, but I'm still going to kill you first. Yeah, Ice um, racking up damage rather quickly as, as usual. Down tilt to death attack. Doing Z drop nares. Oof. 
Dash him right under the gyro. Yeah, mainly if you're like shorter than Rob, you're, you're mostly gonna avoid the, the gyro throws from him. Back throw is gonna take it. That's what I would say, because I'm a big liar. Okay, that'll take it. <laughs> Honestly, Dill and everyone else in the venue expected that to kill. But nope. Um, I said I have a better plan. I'll just use back here. I've been taking stocks from all three of his stocks with those. And now we're probably going to see the same bands. Yes, we will. From Ice Design. And I believe Dill will just go back to Stadium 2. Remember, we don't run DSR around here. As we watch patiently as Had Dill picks his counterpick stage. It might as well be the Pokemon Stadium 2 or Town and City. Either way, they're all in the same column. I bet he's just like moving his finger, one finger up and down on t Pokemon Stadium and Town and City. Picking which one he wants to go to. Man, this is some deal or no deal kind of thinking, man. He's thinking really hard about this. Because now he's down a game. And now he has to deal with um, Isis counterpick if he takes this, this next game. So yeah, this is a very important pick for Dill. Running it back. Ice, are you actually going to do it? I'm curious. Okay, you actually want this. You don't want to take chances. I respect it. But this is Dill's counter pick right here. If he wants to offer the Diddy, which not a bad pick, is in Town and City. He does really well against players with Diddy, but nope. He's going to stick to the Rob. Is Like, here's the thing. It, the, Rob, the Rob is working out for him. He just, it's just rather situational things that are not in his favor. Once again, we're seeing Ice picking up the percent, but so is Dill. All right, so showing that the down tilts to um, dash attack not a real combo, as um, Ice was able to roll out of it. Even game right now. Just one good advantage, and one of them is going to lose his stock. Free F Smash Punish. I'm rather curious to why um, he opted for the explosive flame. Again, we're gonna we're seeing that Ice is having trouble with snatching this kill off of Dill's first stock. All right, uh, side B didn't work out for Dill, and it's gonna take a free forward smash. You know, just just like how he took um, Ice's first stock. He drops snares. Being a little bit repetitive on it. Ice picking that picking up on that and he's racked up enough percent to keep this even. 
Although they'll opt to recover as he recover high, but it didn't work out for him on his end. This is last stock of Dill's tournament life right here. Dill gets out of this. He's walking home at four. And Ice is definitely showing that, showing himself that he's an obstacle that will make sure that Dill doesn't make this easy. I try to up smash out of shield, but it too too far away. Gray spacing out of Ice end. Again, opting for that. He's showing a little desperate hand out of here. All right, shield's a little small, but... All right, that's gonna take it. He air dodge. Are you gonna punish him? No. Raw side B, neutral. Honey, ice by surprise. Now we're at back to an even game. For what it looked like to be a big struggle for Dill, he's really brought this back. Wow, that gyro dipped and got the jab off from the down to the forest smash. Rack it up a more percent to keep it even again. Still showing that he doesn't want to get out. Ugh. Yeah, we can tell that right now that Dill's kind of scared. Try to pressure his shield. That's it. Yeah, I was shaking it, shaking his head. He he kind of feels like he. I know he feels like he had it. Honestly, I did too. Dill was not getting the kill he needed, but then it worked out for him with that un. With no tech, down smash. As we have ho homies in the back for him, chaining him out. Let's go kill Dill. That's what he's saying, yeah. I must say, in hindsight, that this was a good pick for Dill. As he was just um behind. And he kind of wanted to go for Diddy in that um, fourth game, but now he's, here he is. We gotta go? Huh, I just realized we're back in town and city. I wonder why I picked this board. I don't want it, but whatever. Up to you, buddy. Yeah, Dill's trying to find a way back to the ledge. Back to the stage, actually. Having a hard time right now. Ooh. Oh, this was... This has been a consistent thing in this set as Ice has been racking up the damage rather quickly on Dill. But Dill's making all of his hits count, taking the stock first all the time. Opting to recover high. Back here, bad DI. Even, it probably didn't matter, but uh, Dill losing that first stock this time at least. Good for Ice. Back throw. Ice is being a little impatient off stage. He needs to realize how Rob could just stall his recovery. He needs to be at a certain range that he can actually counter attack him. Smash taking it. As long as that Star KO took, that Drow Trust came back.
All right, still surviving that very scary back air. Landing there, we're finding himself back to the stage. Yeah, Dill's pick, um, choosing his fights right now. And stuff like that could keep happening to him. But luckily right now, he, he's received a third chance at life right here. All right, not opting for the down tilt, went straight for the dash attack in case um, he decides to regular get up on, on the tech. Back air, taking it. All right, once again, but like last game, Dill's at the last, at his last leg. Pretty punish. Back throw? No. Is that it? No, not yet. Back throw, almost taking it. If Dill um, decided to delay that um, gyro throw a little bit longer, I still actually be forced to do something, but uh, still has a stock right now. Up throw percent. There, we're gonna take it right on the sweet spot. Oh, there we go. Seeing Palutena's frame data tilt is actually not helping her out right there as Rob was able to hit, a, hit her with a forward tilt first. Racked up enough percent, but now Ice is in stage control. Yeah, you notice that um, Ice was getting a little 